Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Lindsay and Mark are beginning the day with a better outlook. The duo chat over breakfast about religion and kids. Katina and Ola try horseback riding and Ola pressures Katina to keep going, something she isn't thrilled about at the moment. I am nervous about riding a horse just because I've never ridden one before and I already don't like animals. Some people aren't animal people. Steve and Noy go on a hike and swimming adventure which is interrupted by a fish bite. <laughs> Chris and Alisa regroup and agree to partake in a round of tennis. But when it comes to chatting, she's not having any of it. Alisa is worried about how she's being portrayed on the show and she walks away. We later learn that Mark's been having issues with his landlord who is supposedly evicting him while he's away on his honeymoon. Lindsay is supportive of her hubby and hopes he can put the concerns aside during a spa session. Michael and Jasmina, Ola and Katina go on a double date. Sitting on the beach, the foursome talk about compatibility and admit that they can see how they were matched with each other. After a failed tennis Match up, Chris considered to cut his losses with Alisa as per his sister's advice. Alisa meets with Katina and Jasmina while Chris meets with Lindsay and Mark. Alisa tells the woman that Chris is blaming her for things not working out and Katina suggests that Alisa should try to learn more about Chris. Jasmina really feels bad for him. Meanwhile, Lindsay and Mark are supportive shoulders for Chris to lean on and hints that he should maybe let it he should maybe let go of the marriage. Speaking of letting this speaking of letting things go, Lindsay and Mark enjoy flying kites. Jasmina and Michael get to know each other better during a trip to some nearby waterfalls. Everyone gears up for a final group dinner. Lindsay is nervous considering her fight with Ola upon their arrival, but that's not the least of anyone's concerns considering Alisa and Chris's predicament. The couples discuss their experience on the trip and plans for the future including kids, learning each other's preferences and more. When others inquire about Chris and Alisa's living situation, Alisa tells them that she thinks her and Chris shouldn't move in together. With this being the first time he's heard of this, Chris tells Alisa that he is either all in or all out. And she has to give it a better shot than splitting the apartment. Everyone suggests that the pair have this conversation privately, despite most of them being proud of Chris for speaking up. He begs her to be honest about wanting to break up, but she won't admit it. In the end, Chris tells her she can use the apartment. But it's unclear if the pair will stay together moving forward. Well, Chris, the writing is on the wall. And I don't think it's fair for Chris to wait for a divorce. What are your thoughts, Couch Potatoes? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.